All right, what is up guys? It's about 9.30 Texas time, Saturday night. Just got to the autocross event, I'm about to go tech in. Uh, just got me a new phone. It's actually really cool, it's the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, well, so I think it's got the front. It's really cool, and then like uh, the camera. Since it's a, you can see it's a full screen, the camera like pops out of the top, see that? freaking cool anyway uh, other than that I got a new pair of driving shoes got some random some Nike running Johns and they feel really good on the pedals but uh, I'll put up today's course here my boy Brandon who uh, does sponsoring for the tires and a bunch of other really cool stuff he made himself a carbon fiber intake I have to get a clip of that and of course of him driving he's actually testing out the Federal RS Pro tires they are a step above the RSRRs uh, he says they take heat really really well you couldn't get them to like get greasy or anything uh, so we'll see tonight how they really handle but I'm excited to see that because they, they have better wet traction than these which means it would be better for daily driving so I'm gonna go tech in walk the track and uh, so this nice night goes I'm gonna go hard like I've, I've been ready to do this SCCA stuff for a minute we've been going to Roswell doing shit so speak of the devil there he is hey, oh up? yeah you ready to test out these tires dude I'm stoked for these <laughs> But uh, yeah, all right, tech in and uh, good to go. What's up? Was it you want me to do uh, a recording of yours? Yeah, if you want, yeah, I'll do that. Well, just watch run group A. I'm run group B, number two. It's intense, especially like the very end there. That last solemn messes you all up. I um, uh, see so far Steven in S2000. He's in first. He think I'm pretty sure he's the only one in the 50 second range. Everybody else is 16 above. I think his is 57 something out of his four runs. But uh, it's not really much of a speed course. Not even not many people are even shifting in a second, which I hope is will be the case for me if I could stay in the first stay in first this whole time it would be great but uh, having those control arms I think for this would have been super nice just the amount of of you know direct quick turn in that you're gonna have to do but it's not a fast course it's very technical uh, being smooth you know they, they say that smooth is fast fast is smooth that's a hundred percent on this track you need to hit those late apexes just right set yourself up for each turn if you go a little too fast or break a little too late you're gonna you're gonna mess up your line for the rest of the time so it's gonna be good the first lap I'm gonna take it kind of slow I'm gonna have passengers people want to ride in the car so we got four laps now and four laps later so I'm gonna have passengers pretty much this whole first four laps which always messes me up it makes me I'm already nervous as hell every time it makes me twice as nervous but I'm really 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 pumped to feel how this Haldex and trailing arm stuff is going to change the way things are out here. Uh, I changed the dampening a little up front, made it a little bit uh, less. I have it set to 15 and then 20 in the back. I can't change the back unless I have a jack because the way that it's set. So hopefully this will be good. Maybe I'll stiffen it up a little bit if I need to, but we're going to have at it. I'm going to go hard. Like I'm going to give it my all tonight. I've been so pumped about coming out to one of these night events and uh, yeah here we go
not as good. probably my best lap two I messed up the launch and it threw me off the whole time like I said earlier you gotta you gotta keep that line that one felt pretty good I'm playing around with tire pressure a lot my first lap I did it cold at 28 and this one I just did hot at 27 and it felt pretty decent I'm gonna look at my times compare we got one more last one more lap left in this round I know I got more out of it I just need to pay attention line myself up better <laughs> get a slower car you got quicker to pull down the foot We're gonna go back over here and see what he's up to. You do know that there's water on the track now, right? Yeah, I like saw that out of the corner of my eye and I was like, I had to like go, it's it's starting to come down the track, so. Yeah, the sprinkler system like, came on. Literally right at like a, a tough corner. That's, it's kind of shitty. First two runs he didn't want me to record because he's slow. But we recorded them anyways, and here he goes. Fourth run of the night. There is now water on the track. We'll listen to him in the background while we look at this amazing water. Looks pretty good. Some dumbass and a Bronco parked next to it. It's what it is. DNF my last lap somehow. I don't know where I skipped out, but so far my best is a 57163 
I'm holding down second place, third place, 57, 5, 8, 9, and first place is 56, 9, 4. So I'm about 0.2 and a half, um, or point, yeah, about a quarter second behind the fastest guy. I said these first, well, lap one, two, and four, I had someone in the car, and lap three, I didn't. But these next four, I won't have anybody in the car. It'd be easier for me to focus. That uh, first lap on the second half, like when the car, the tires are nice and cold and not all dumb. Hopefully these sprinklers stop and they get it's dried up on the track. As soon as I went through that water, you feel right away. The tires were like eh, taking me off to the side. Maybe that's when I went DNF because I was too focused on not sliding into something or something. But that water on the track really screws things up. It's kind of upsetting. You can't do nothing about it. But lucky the the first run group didn't have to deal with that at all. I guess my first two laps I didn't have to either. But now it's my turn to go walk the track. It's 82 degrees out. I'm sweating my ass off. This is a lot of fun. I'm a general rush like a motherfucker, and I still got to drive home an hour and a half after this event's over, and it's about to hit midnight. So, <sighs> all right. So we got Brandon here, TDI Golf, and he's running those RS Pros I was talking about earlier. You want know, to swing your tire to the side? Look at that. That is nice looking. So the main difference is the compound's different, right? compound is definitely different um, the treads are redesigned so on the RRs like here running mm -hmm. some of the grooves would trap water and air in it and that's what gave you the road noise and that's what gave the loss of what traction right so now they have two uh, two centrifugal yeah them center boys to kind of help keep the water and then it's got better uh, treads to kind of exhaust the water and air off the shoulders so it's, they're really quiet on the road. There's a little whine from about 75 to somewhere in the triple digits. I won't say where, but it quiets down <laughs> eventually. Hell yeah. Uh, they look good though. See, uh, it's a little too dark to see what they say on them, but these are the Federal RS Pro. These will be the, the next step above the, the RSRR. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, they got a definitely different design there. That's cool. There you go. 595 RS Pro. Nice. There we go. Forgot how much torque a diesel has. I felt good. Fuck yeah. Really good. There was like not even any tire squeal. <laughs> Damn. That's a, like 40 some PSI. 42 PSI, yeah. 42 PSI cold. Mind you, I run mine at like 28, so. And it's still scrap size. Oh, wow, yeah. It's right there on the limit. Yeah. So, All right, then. probably some camera would fix that. Yeah. Probably two PSI back here. Yeah.
doing this. He's probably writing his novel. Makes it look so easy. This Z is so dope. Makes you want to put underglow on my car. I dig it. All right, just did uh, my second lap on the second half. Got DNF. I skipped this stupid freaking cone that's by this water. I'm letting this, the thought of my tires going through water mess me all up. I just need to not, not think so much. But uh, the trailing arms, Haldex tune, it definitely transforms the car. You can definitely feel that the rear end is more planted. It's definitely not like loose like I expected it to be. I even let out like a bunch of air in the back afterwards just to see how it would react. And it just grips even more like as it should. But uh, this is great. This is really great. Now I need to add on the control arms and subframe and all that stuff really see how this uh changes the car but uh 10 out of 10 on the Haldex tune and uh, the trailing arms you can definitely feel it i know my alignment's a little off back there you can you can feel it on the highway but uh it's worth it definitely worth it man i just wish we had more time only got two more laps and here it's it's 1 30 in the morning so we're probably not gonna get out of here till like 2 30 and then uh i said i got like an hour and a half drive back drive back home at least i lose an hour time zone wise but still Whew. I'm having a lot of fun though this is great this is so good I love these nighttime events they're they're just the best it's, this parking lot has plenty of lighting it's nice and cool it's 77 degrees out temps are staying great all right and I'm up again He's got a nice car. talking about your two fastest times were the dnfs of course both yeah. 56s i kept messing up i kept skipping this cone because i was focusing on this water sitting on the ground because i'm an idiot but uh i think my best run of the day wound up being my first lap of the day ironically somehow this has only ever happened like one other time but i had fun i need to work on myself a little bit more I need, last year this time we were doing autocross like every other weekend now it's like for me it's been like a month in between i need to get more back into it less drag racing more autocross but uh next time we're out here we should have the control arms all that little shit so oh yeah that's I need, right i need to work on on me really before i add anything else but we'll see do when i money when I, and time we'll, works out when i come down we'll like we'll figure this out we'll get you yeah, all set up dude. I need to, I need, i'll have to get an alignment like that day it's gonna be rough
You made it to the end, y'all are real MVPs. Just wanted to talk real quick, real, real quick. So, track map was awesome. Brandon, thank you. Brandon made the map. Uh, those tires feel great. I can't wait to get me a set once they're more available. There's only like 100 sets that uh, got to the US. He was one of the first to get them. Uh, they feel really, 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 really nice. So, that'll be future plans. Uh, shout out to Michael and Brandon and Kat for all recording uh, some clips tonight, or that night, whatever night it was. It's like a day ago. Um, I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you. Car felt absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I need to work on my brain. That little water spot there just continuously messed me up. I definitely could have got a better time. I wound up fourth out of 26, second in my class. Uh, the next event is on the 24th. I'll we'll be going to a Lubbock autocross in the morning and then driving 110 miles to Amarillo and doing the nighttime event. So we're going to do two big events one day gonna be sick I can't wait uh, so I got like pretty much two weekends off of autocross until then unless Roswell comes up with a date um, for the 17th which would be dope but uh, my birthday's next weekend I'm gonna go watch cash days record some of that stuff for you guys this weekend um, I'll be 27 holy shit but uh, how next tune 100% total change of the car it's, I need more seat time, definitely a lot more seat time to get used to the way it feels now. But uh, the, rear end, the rear end of the car needs to get lowered, I need to get a line, I need to get that suspension stuff in. Hopefully I can get all that done before the next event. I don't think I'll be able to, um, but we'll see. We'll, we will see. I'm going to try and get as much done as I can. Um, but yeah, shit's awesome. Shout out again to Frank uh, for my tuning. Shit's awesome. EQT, Ed, awesome. Racing line, all the racing line goodies. Black Forest Industries, 034, uh, Euro Code, all types of things. All types of people, all types of companies helping me out. But uh, yeah, it was a great night. Just seemed, like I said, work on me, but I had a blast. It was an absolute blast. I love those nighttime events. Keeps the car cool. Car ran great. Oh man, I can't wait to get back. I wish there was autocross every weekend. I would, I would seriously go. I would go every weekend if I could. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip flop.